On April 24, 2018, Oroko, Guzman, and other associates of the Pagans assaulted an associate of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club at a gas station in Newark. The Pagans and the Hells Angels have a long-standing rivalry. The victim was beaten with an axe handle, punched, and kicked by the Pagans' assailants, resulting in significant injuries. Both Oroko and Guzman are high-ranking leaders in the Pagans' organization. So in this video, we are going to talk about the European criminals that shocked the industry. The Pagans, the video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Larry Ortiz, Aka Savage, 31, of Elizabeth, New Jersey, and Junius Aquino, Aka, J.O. 38, of Vauxhall, New Jersey, was charged with aggravated assault in aid of racketeering and discharging a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence for their roles in a gang-related shooting. On October 28, 2020, Ortiz and Aquino shot at an associate of a rival gang while driving on the New Jersey Turnpike. The shooting was committed as part of an ongoing dispute between the Pagans and the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. Aquino was also charged in a separate criminal complaint with possession of ammunition by a convicted felon in connection with a shooting that occurred three days later. On October 31, 2020, Aquino shot at an occupied vehicle in Elizabeth. Law enforcement officers recovered 740 caliber shell casings from the shooting scene. On November 5, 2020, law enforcement executed a search warrant at Aquino's residence and recovered, among other items, multiple 40 caliber rounds of ammunition and approximately 50 grams of cocaine. After law enforcement officers recovered the cocaine from Aquino's residence, Aquino was charged with possession with the intent to distribute cocaine. At the time of Aquino's arrest, he was the vice president of the Pagan's Elizabeth membership chapter. Ortiz was also charged with possession with intent to distribute 50 grams or more of methamphetamine and possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. On November 17, 2020, law enforcement officers executed a search warrant at Ortiz's residence and recovered approximately 300 grams of methamphetamine and a loaded firearm. At the time of his arrest, Ortiz was the president of the Pagan's Jersey City membership chapter. This investigation has dealt a significant to the Pagan's motorcycle gang, special agent in charge of the DEA's New Jersey division, Susan A. Gibson said. The use of violence, weapons, and intimidation was standard for this criminal organization, and law enforcement made it clear that their behavior would not be tolerated. It is a bad day for the Pagan when the combined forces of DEA, ATF, New Jersey State Police, and Union County detectives come after you. These arrests made New Jersey safer, and this investigation demonstrated the determination of DEA and our amazing partners to pursue the most violent criminal gangs who choose to violate the law. Today's arrests are the latest in a long-running investigation into the illegal activities of the Pagan's Motorcycle Club. Acting U.S. Attorney Honig said, We have now charged 11 members of this outlaw gang with various weapons, drug trafficking, and violent crimes. Together with our federal, state, and local partners, we remain fully committed to combating violent crime in New Jersey and prosecuting the members of the criminal organizations who are responsible for it. I can say without question that our collective efforts have disrupted and dismantled the daily illegal activities of the Pagan's outlaw motorcycle gang by strategically removing their most violent and most egregious firearm and drug trafficking members and associates. ATF Newark Field Division Acting Special Agent in Charge Toby C. Taylor said, This collaborative investigation will undoubtedly make communities safer throughout our state and beyond. Long-term operations of this magnitude require a tremendous amount of work and patience by cooperating detectives, and while the full scope and impact of this investigation may yet be fully realized, its success continues a year after it began. Colonel Patrick J. Callahan, superintendent of the New Jersey State Police, said, I commend the hard work and dedication of all the agencies involved. Their efforts have led to the arrests of violent offenders and the seizure of weapons and drugs, which has undoubtedly made our community safer. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video.